Today, Control Net 1.1 was released, but unfortunately, it hasn't yet been integrated into Auto 11.11. But in this tutorial, we're going to get a sneak peek by learning how to use Control Net 1.1 directly without Auto 11.11, so that we can see how some of the models perform compared to Control Net 1.0. Let's get started. First, create a folder in your computer and name it something like Control Net 1.1. Next, we go up to the GitHub repo for Control Net 1.1. The URL is in the description. Once there, copy the repo URL, go back to the folder you created, and type CMD in the address bar to open the command line. Type git clone and paste the URL you copied from the GitHub repo and hit enter. I won't be doing this here since I already cloned the repo. When the repo has been cloned, open the root folder and then go into the models folder. Go to the Hugging Face webpage that contains all the ControlNet 1.1 models. Again, the URL is in the description. Choose one or all of the models that you want to test and download them. I was most interested in the open pose model because of the modifications that seem to have been made to the face and the hands. So I downloaded the open pose model and copied it into the models folder in the root folder that was cloned. Next, copy into the models folder the base 1.5 stable diffusion checkpoint and make sure it is named like so, shown here in the GitHub repo. Now, go back up to the root folder level and type CMD in the address bar again to open the command line. Copy the following line from the GitHub repo and paste it into the command line. This will create the Anaconda environment that will load in all dependencies needed for this standalone version of ControlNet 1.1 to work. If you don't know what Anaconda is, please pause the video and watch a tutorial on how to install it. The command to create the Anaconda environment will take a few minutes, so be patient. Again, I already did this, so I won't do this here. Once done, copy the following line from the GitHub repo and paste it into the command line to activate the environment. Now we're about ready to run the standalone version of ControlNet 1.1, depending on the model that you chose. So let's look in the root folder for the Gradio Python file that will run the ControlNet model that we want to test. I'm choosing Open Pose, so here's a script I want to run. I copy the entire name, including the extension, go back to the command line, and type in Python, paste the full name with the extension that you copied, and hit Enter. In a few minutes when this is done loading, we'll be ready to go to a browser to open up the Gradio file. Just type in localhost colon 7860 and that will open up the standalone version of ControlNet. Okay, now that we have the Gradio page ready to go, let's run a test with an image I prepared and a single prompt. A woman standing near the beach. I'll keep the negative prompt that came as default and all the default settings with the exception of changing the C to negative 1 so that it is random. We want to make at least three different images. Okay, I'm going to save out these images and use them later in our comparison. I'm now going to close this out and run Auto 11.11 to test the same image and prompt on ControlNet OpenPose version 1.0. Now that everything is set up in Auto 11.11, here's what we get when we hit Generate. I'll do three renders. Now let's do a side-by-side -side comparison to see how they stack up against each other. So there you have it. We have ControlNet 1.0 at the top, 1.1 at the bottom, source image in the middle, and to be honest, I really can't tell much of a difference. They look about equal in terms of how well they perform. Maybe I'll give the edge to 1.1 just a slight advantage in terms of the hands. I think uh, doing a bit better there, except for that middle image, which is, yeah, that's a wash. Please do leave in the comments which you think is doing better here. ControlNet 1 or ControlNet 1.1, at least with regard to the open pose model. So that'll about do it for the tutorial. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoyed it. Please do give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification icon so you'll be notified when the next tutorial comes available. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.